I want to address the incident that happened in Katlehong yesterday regarding this uh, pastor and the alleged biological father along with two other men going into the school and brandishing weapons and forcefully removing two petrified children out of the school. We as Fathers for Justice condemn this kind of action fundamentally. It is completely unacceptable. The conduct of the pastor and these three other men has taken the father's rights moving back decades. The, 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 the pastor is well known within the community for these kind of stupid asinine uh, acts. And we not only expect, but we demand both of the police and of the justice system to throw the book at these men. This kind of incident cannot happen again. Having said that, it was not unexpected. Brother Solomon and uh, Castro and I have been warning the community for decades that eventually fathers will resort to violence. It is not the correct response. It is the wrong response. But the fact of the matter is, is that fathers' rights have been talking and fathers for justice have been talking to the Department of Social Development since, since August of 2019, five years ago. We've engaged you. We've told you what the problems are. I have written and I've got response back from the Portfolio Committee Chair, uh, Mrs. Masango, who has been reappointed. She has committed herself and she has indicated that she understands the urgency of the matter. And we hope that she is true to her word. I have gone back to her and I said to her, listen, we are available and we expect to be included in the Portfolio Committee's deliberations. We cannot wait another five years. We cannot wait another six months. What is grossly disturbing is the fact that we have written to the new minister and deputy minister and we've got a precursory what do you call it, general email, please talk to your local department of social development. Minister, we are way beyond that. We have been engaging <coughs> the department of social development for five years now. We are simply not prepared to talk to some lowly little hunt langer at the bottom end of the scale. We are way beyond that. We are at ministerial level. We are at government level. We have been engaging you. And I would strongly suggest that you reach out to us as a matter of extreme urgency. Because we warned government about the inevitability of the shocking, disgusting uh, actions that took place at this primary school in Katlehong yesterday. And God willing, and thank God that it didn't get any worse that it potentially could have. Not only did this pastor expose these two young children, he also exposed the students and the teachers to a horrific outcome. And we, as I've said, expect of the Department of Justice and the police to throw the book at them. Nothing less than direct prison sentence will be acceptable to us. But this is going out to the minister. The buck stops with you. Okay. The fact that you are new and all of those kind of good things is of complete irrelevance. You've taken over the new department. I would strongly suggest to you, minister, that you make yourself a fay with the issues to hand. We have repeatedly offered our assistance to the Department of Social Development. We are not prepared to wait another five years and we're not even prepared to wait another six months. We are expecting and we are demanding that the minister make the necessary changes to the Children Act. So situations like yesterday may never be repeated. So minister, I have contacted you through every possible uh, avenue. May I strongly suggest that you reach out to us and get all fathers' rights movements on board and assisting and working in helping you 
to get the necessary changes made to the Children's Act insofar as fathers' rights and responsibilities to their ch children are. And let's have those taken to Parliament and signed off by the State President and enacted in law as a matter of extreme urgency. I thank you very much.